Welcome to the presentation of one of my next projects. Today we're gonna have a look into the box of this Dassault Rafale from Hobby Boss in 70 second scale. As you will see, I have a special plan for this. The box art is quite nice, but what confuses me here is the indication of a rotor diameter up here. That should obviously have been the wingspan, but never mind. Other than that you get a short description of the Rafale that they mostly copied from Wikipedia again. The same text in Chinese and the standard safety advice. This kit was released in 2009 and cost me around 15 euros. When I started modeling again, one of my first kits was the Revel Rafale M that I still have. I built it 4 years ago and as you can see I brush painted it with animals and it's quite a mess. Additionally this Revel kit has raised panel lines and I had almost no experience in painting model kits. Therefore I am hoping that I can throw this one away once my new Rafale is finished. Maybe I can salvage the pilot figure but other than that it just looks awful. The Hobby Boss Rafale will be an entry for the Tiger Meets and Special Schemes group build of the Group Build Group on Facebook starting on January 10th. Now let's see what we got in the box. As you can see I got myself the Eduard Photo Edge set. I've never used Photo Edge parts before so this will be quite a challenge. More on that later. Also for the Special Schemes group build I got these masks and decals from Cyhard or Seahard for this amazing solo display library of the Rafale. I really hope this works out. Again, we'll have a closer look on that later. Oh, and this is obviously not included in the kit. The Hobby Boss kit only comes with the manual, painting guide and parts. A closer look on the manual with the usual safety advice and of course the assembling instructions. The wings are already attached to the fuselage so there won't be any gaps which is nice. You just build the cockpit and add the vertical stabilizer, canards, landing gear, engine, nose and pylons. This kit also comes with a good amount of armament like fuel tanks, air to air missiles as well as Apache cruise missiles. Down here you can see all the hard points for this loadout. I won't be using any of these because the special version I built only carries smoke pots on the wingtips. Moving on to the marking and painting guide. You get decals for two versions of the French Air Force. This one has some sort of cross in its emblem and other than that you just need to place the standard stencils. And here on the other page we find markings for a different squadron. I can't really identify what that emblem is, but both squadrons use the same color tone of the aircraft as you can see in this table down here. You can find 5 different paint manufacturers here, which is quite helpful. Moving on to the decals, they are packed separately and covered with blotting paper. Another closer look on the squadron markings. This one kind of looks like a javelin thrower standing on a cogwheel, but I can't really tell. Anyways, the print quality seems to be good and even though I'll use the photo etched parts for the cockpit, these instrument panels here also look very accurate. Furthermore, you get a good amount of stencils. Now to the clear parts which are also packed separately. Ok, what do we have here? Two parts for the canopy. This wall behind the cockpit, a head-up display and landing lights I would assume. No seam lines, crystal clear, nice. Next up the fuselage halves which are also very well protected. And this is actually glued into the box here. Ok I finally managed to remove all the protection and we get the main parts for the fuselage. It seems like they fit together properly. Also the surface detail is quite nice. If we compare it to the Revel Rafale with its raised panel lines, the Hobby Boss kit is clearly better. What I also noticed is that the Marine version has a slightly wider wingspan compared to the C version. I just hope that Seahard took that into consideration when producing their masks and decals. 
Anyways, I'm quite pleased with the surface detail of the Hobby Boss Kit. Moving on to the next spruce. Here we have the spine, I would call it, and the cockpit. There are a couple of sink marks here, but the knobs and switches are all there. Next one. Here we find the wheels and the front landing gear bay. The front landing gear strut and an arrestor hook. And the next sprue. Here we have the vertical stabilizer and refueling probe. I already read that this antenna needs to be removed for the C version of the Rafale. More parts of the landing gear and the main instrument panel. Really good, but I'll still use the PE parts here. The canards and this is probably a part of the ejection seat. Yeah, there are some more parts of it over here. Anything else of interest here? Yes, the main landing gear base, which are also nicely detailed. The gear bay doors and here the exhaust nozzles. Here we have the armament, the Apache cruise missiles, some air-to-air -air missiles and pylons. And last but not least these huge fuel tanks and even more pylons. As I already said, I won't be using any of these with the special library. I only built one hobby boss kit so far, which was this Dornier 335. Overall the kit had quite a few flaws, but I managed to correct most of them, and the actual building process was quite enjoyable. There's a detailed build review video on my channel if you're interested. And now let's check out what will make this build a bit more special. First up, the photo-etched parts from Eduard. So what do we get? An empty cardboard. <laughs> and the manual. Some photo-etched parts, who would have guessed, and a clear film. If I understand correctly, the red parts of the kit parts need to be removed and replaced by the photo-etched parts. You get many parts just for the ejection seat like seat belts and the firing handle. Then you continue with the instrument panel and even smaller parts like head-up display. Then some improvements to the area behind the pilot and more instrument panels. Some parts even have to be glued to the clear parts of the kit. Again, this will be my first time using photo-etched parts, so I would be thankful for every tip you have. For example, which glue to use. My first impression is that the cockpit will be a small kit on its own within the Rafale kit. However, the PE parts look really good and I'm looking forward to this new experience. Looks like this is where the clear film goes and you can also cut out a little head-up display from the film. A quick comparison of the PE parts to the decals of the kit. Both look quite good, but the PE parts will also add a third dimension to it. You need to place some of them over each other in layers. So overall this looks like a challenge, but a promising one. And now let's finally have a look on the Seahart decals and masks. I'm a big fan of the Rafale since I saw it at an airshow here in Austria. You can find a full video of this Rafale display from the AirPower 2016 airshow on my channel. Now there are several interesting schemes of the Rafale, but the Solo Display 2017 is one of my favorites. First up we find some instructions for the masks that are included in the set. This already looks quite overwhelming, but at least they also tell you which paints to use, which is great. On the other side we find instructions for the decals on the canards and smoke pots, as well as masks for the anti-skid walkways. These areas need to be matte and a bit lighter. That's a nice detail. On this sheet we find some more instructions for the decals and painting. And I have to admit that this is quite intimidating, but with the detailed instructions that we can find here, I hope that I can pull it off. This tells you exactly when and where to use which masks and paint. The next item is the sheet with self-adhesive masks. 
I assume these are the walkways. And then a ton of decals. Roundels of the French Air Force. And this one says correction. Even more roundels, stencils and whatnot. Great print quality. And here are these shiny decals with the French Air Force inscription and the French flag. I love the gloss on these. And finally these blue patterns which I assume go on the bottom of the Raffel. Yes, they do. So overall this looks quite complex and I'm sure it will be a big challenge for me. But at the same time I'm very eager to finally start building and contributing to the group build when it starts on the 10th of January. I wanted to build this for a long while and now the time has finally come. The Rafale is one of the sexiest fighter jets in my opinion and it's about time I replaced that old Revel model. So stay tuned for more by following my channels, like and subscribe and thanks for watching, bye!